Frater Stolistes, I command you to purify the whole and the members by water. Frater Daducos, I command you to consecrate the whole and the members by fire. Egyptian and Greek cultures in Ptolemaic Egypt. 
It has its earliest roots in Samaria, then migrated through Chaldea and Egypt, and came to Europe with the Greek and Roman republics. For over 2,000 years, the Hermetic tradition has taught a triad of spiritual disciplines known as the Trivium Hermeticum, astrology, magic, and alchemy, that together comprise a powerful system of energetic evolution known as the Royal Art Solar Ascension. Our order, the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, was founded in 1888 in the United Kingdom. The Golden Dawn became the outer order of S.L. McGregor Mathers, Rosicrucian Order of Alpha and Omega, 100 years ago now, in 1909, following the rebellion of adepts in England in the Golden Dawn and Mathers having waited seven years to found the Alpha and Omega. Today, here, the Ahathor Grand Temple in Paris, France, founded by S.L. McGregor Mathers in 1892, remains the Grand Mother Temple of both the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn worldwide, as well as the Rosicrucian Order of Alpha and Omega. Since Aleister Crowley and Israel Regardi published the Golden Dawn's initiation rituals in parts of the Golden Dawn magical system during the last century, the teachings of our order have impacted nearly every aspect of the esoteric tradition, of the Western esoteric tradition. Using these published materials, a diverse variety of new Golden Dawn temples and orders have recently appeared on the scene, some even taking unique New Age or Thelemic directions. This spontaneous and rapid appearance of new Golden Dawn temples and orders is reminiscent of the rise of Freemasonry in the late 18th century. Our order, among Golden Dawn orders, remains very traditionalist in our approach. We hold fast to the Hermetic and the Rosicrucian roots of our tradition. Nonetheless, the revelation of our second order's magical material by Crowley and Regardi presented us with a unique challenge. Although we've remained completely faithful to our Hermetic and Rosicrucian origins, our order, therefore, has not remained static.